da 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 Yeah. Oh, that's cold. Woo! What the fuck was that? What's up? Um, yeah, it's me again. Anyway, there's so much headroom on this shot. Yeah, I've had to improvise on my tripod because I don't, I don't have a tripod. Um, not because I'm fucking broke, mate. Uh, can you stop swearing, please? There is no need for it. Um, yeah, anyway, so we've got another B&M video today. So you might have seen the last video, which was the last wave of B&M figures. Lovely wave, cannot fault it. Chef's kiss, chef's kiss. As you know, we have had, we've had two more and I'm just gonna show them today. I'm gonna show you my in-depth opinion of these sets and yeah, what I think about them. So obviously, two sets, two very nice sets, I must admit. Uh, basically, first day back at work after lockdown, after the December lockdown, and I thought to myself, the shop I work in, very close to the B&M near me, so, so I was just like, you know what, for a laugh, just gonna go down there, have a look. I went in there, I was being a bit awkward <laughs> because obviously it's, it's busy now because of Christmas, and there was just parents coming in and I'm just fucking trying to get into a toy section. I'm just like, what? So, yeah. And then I walked in and then I, s I saw the shelf where before, when I was trying to get the last wave, it was um, where uh, they had the, they pretty much just had the Romanus, the uh, companions of the fourth Doctor set and the fan, enemy of the third, uh, friends and foes of the 13 Doctors set. And that's it for the whole fucking last like two months. That was all they had. Like the new BNM wave came in. Every time I go in there, nothing new. That's the other one that's much further in the further out of the city. But I went there, still nothing. So I thought, eh, and that's why I fucking travelled bad to get the last wave. But yeah, so I went in to the, the the local one near where I work, and to my surprise. There they were. I, I saw. I just saw both of them. I, I grabbed them. I looked at them. I was like, "Oh, beautiful, beautiful." I'm so happy. So, let's have a quick look at what they are. So, obviously, first one here. So sorry about a little bit, a bit of the glare. We have the. Um, I'll do what I did last time and getting close. But obviously, we have this one, which is the Coal Hill School Collector's Figure Set, aka the Remembrance of the Daleks Two Pack from B and M. Uh, we obviously have the lovely new sculpt. Not, it's not a new, sorry, it's not a new sculpt. We have the new re-release of the uh, Imperial Dalek, which is very highly sought after because, well, the Imperial Dalek figures, they're beautiful. Like the Imperial Daleks as a whole, are just one of the, probably the best props we've ever seen in Doctor Who, in my opinion. And everyone loves Remembrance of the Daleks. I don't really know that many people like don't like Remembrance of the Daleks. To be fair, maybe see a collection video here and there saying. Oh, it's a bit overrated, and I'm just like, yeah, it's it's good, man. The human drama, the fucking the Dalek action, the Dalek drama, the Doctor, it's great. And then obviously we have the new Ace re-release, which comes with a nice rocket launcher as well. Um, yeah, very nice two-pack. I really wanted this one because I have, because earlier in this year, if you've watched the first uh, haul video on this channel, I actually got um both. The, this year I got the Remembrance of the Daleks 4-pack with the Imperial Dalek, Supreme Dalek, Super Special Weapons Dalek, and the Renegade Dalek, and the 2-pack with Davros and the Destroyed Imperial Dalek. So yeah, I was, um, I really wanted to get another one, and obviously the other, the uh, other release that was standalone back in the day was the, um, the 2-pack with Sylvester McCoy in it, which, if I can find that cheap, I'm still going to pick it up because I don't actually have... A Sylve in his white jacket with his hat on. It's a, it's a nice little figure. It's a nice little variant. And yeah, I'd rather that than the single card version. But yeah. So very happy that they announced this. And also, I was gonna pick up the, like this Ace earlier in the year, but when I went to finally have the money to buy it, for what it was on Amazon still, it, they'd all sold out. And I'm like, great. It's mainly it's mainly the accessories that come with that set, like the baseball bat and the nitro the nitro nine really that you're missing from this set but apart from that, we still get the rocket launcher which is nice and yeah basically I wanted another Imperial Dalek to go because I have two Renegades to go with the Supreme Dalek so I wanted two Imperial Daleks to go with Davros and the Special Weapons Dalek but yeah this is a very nice set uh, hopefully you can get your hands on it because 
Who doesn't want an, who doesn't want Imperial Daleks? Who doesn't want Imperial Daleks? People that don't like people that don't like remnants of the Daleks probably. <laughs> and then obviously we have the fine we have the other set. I was about to say the final set, as if there's been loads in this video. There's two, you two. Learn to count. Me, not you. <laughs> um. So yeah, this was a set which it, 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 we'd seen. It was rumored, and then it got leaked. Uh, and then it finally got announced. Which is the which is familiar two pack, which comes with Mr. Mr. Lovely Capaldi, the lovely Twelfth Doctor, and Davros from that story. Um, this is more of a straight re-release and less um, less work done to it. The most work I think has been done to it is Capaldi in this set, which I'd say is a very nice like uh, what's the word? Very bland color palette like obviously it's just black and grey but at the same time it really makes the figure look really nice I don't know why it just really looks really nice especially with the checkered trousers they're really nice as well I think it's quite a nice looking Capaldi figure I'll have to tell you more once I've got it out of the box but yeah and then Davros is obviously just a uh, he's more he's mainly just a rep repaint but looking at the details and what they've made more shiny metallic it does look really nice but the only reason we probably didn't get a new head a new head sculpt for Davros in the set is probably just because we've been like we've been given so much this year we've been given the Peladon Pertwee Tardis wave with those tweaks and fixes with those Daleks no, we were given the second Doctor Tardis with um all the rest of it and then we were get and like fucking History of the Dalek sets, parts one and two, and then we were given the whole next, the revitalized wave with another set, so with another TARDIS, and then, so yeah. Obviously some sets would get less love than others, but still, it's a very nice set to have. Very nice set to have. 2015, is that really when this series came out? That's mad. So right, here we have the close look at the boxes. We'll look at the uh, Cow Hill School one first. Obviously, in the nice window display box, we've got the two figures, lovely. In the front, so obviously, it says Remembrance at the front. And there's the back, a nice per promo picture for both of them. Uh, then, obviously, you've got your nice description of what the episode is about, and then some of the uh, some little trivia bits as well. But yeah, it's a nice box. Got the old fucking security tag on there. Yeah, it's very nice, very nice indeed. We have the other box, which is The Witch's Familiar. I just realised it says 1988 on the front there. That's that's a bit of a that's a misprint there. But yeah, same as again, same again, same as always. But then there's the box back. Davros looks more menacing in this photo than it does in the figure. You obviously got your description and some more little tip bits and all that. But yeah, two very nice boxes. So we're now going to start by we're now going to get a closer look and open them. So here we have them out of the box, lovely. And I quite wanted to just mention how nice the uh, backdrop is. We obviously have uh, Carl Hill School, we've got the cellar door there, we've obviously got the bulletin board, and then we've got the staircase to go upstairs, and then we've got the nice little entrance slash corner where they intercepted the Dalek. Um, so here we go. Ooh, I think we're gonna start with the Dalek. Um, some vast improvements over the uh, first one, which we are gonna compare side by side. So here's the here's one of the original releases, and here's the new one. Uh, some of the minor details, obviously the eye stalk is different. I like how they've painted the gold in the middle. The black is still not correct, but at the same time, the black looks more menacing than the blue. It makes more sense. This gold seems a bit more. This seems lighter gold. This seems darker gold. If that makes sense. Uh, this has got uh, this one's mesh isn't straight like it was in the episode. This is how it should be, I think, in the episode. Oh, so this is how it looked, and then they've obviously done this because they've, I think they've reused the Renegade Dalek from this story. So that's why it's got a mesh on it, but it's not really noticeable. It's not really a problem for me. And we obviously have the different, you can see the differences. That that's more of a muted gold and that's more brighter gold. That makes sense. Plunger and that look very nice. This one's a little bit bent, but hey, how are we going to do? Yeah, we obviously have the colour of the... Hmm, I feel like the colouring on this is a bit faded, but apart from that, it's alright. I quite like, I really like this figure. It's nice to have two. And I think... Yeah, it's painted more closely 
to the um, like gold is all the way to the end, which is quite nice. But yeah, so that's the Imperial Dalek figure. Very nice to have. Obviously, very sought after. So if you can get your hands on one of these, get your hands on them at once. Then we obviously have Ace. Here she is with her rocket launcher. Oh, this figure, very nice. It's very nice to have another Ace. Here we have the new Ace next to the old one. Uh, ma mass first thing I'm gonna say, the eyes like this is so much better than this. Like this, these eyes are kind of Loki scary. <laughs> like what is going on there? Um, obviously the jacket was very detailed to begin with, and it doesn't feel like they have skimped on this at all. I feel like it's very very nicely detailed all the way around which is nice no paint real no paint bleeds which is nice uh, I like also like the different t-shirt she's wearing it's very nice good some variety uh, the rocket launcher piece very nice as well it's a very solid piece of plastic and it just looks very nice and detailed like it looked in like in the episode and also the backpack on the back a very nice little addition to this set as well and it just I feel like it just really brings the figure out altogether. Just nice details, and it's just a nice amount of accessories. It goes very well with the set, and this will also go very nicely with your destroyed Imperial Dalek if you have it. So yeah, overall I really like this figure, and this is a very nice two pack. And I hope you all get this because oh, it's very nice to have more, another Imperial Dalek right here. Very nice indeed. Oh, actually one last thing. One last thing I wanted to mention. If she didn't fall over is her hair. I really like this new hair sculpt. I think this is really nice. It's very nicely detailed. So yeah, all round. All round very happy with this set and she's gonna fall over again. Oh well, moving on. Moving on to the Capaldi one. I just wanted to print this out, print this out one again out of the box. He's so big that he doesn't fit in the box anymore. <laughs> oh, I just find that hilarious. This figure is so big, oh my God. So here's a closer look at the sets at the moment, and there's the uh, backdrop for the set, which is the nice City of Scaro set from the two-parter of Series 9, which is very nice. A lot of detail, very much, like, like I just like how much character pays attention to detail. Of course, we're going to look at Mr. Capaldi first. Uh, so here he is from The Witch is Familiar. Looking at the episode itself and looking at the promo images for it, uh, the colours are quite similar to be fair, uh, the trousers are of a darker grey variety instead of the lighter grey, but I still think it I still think it works for this figure, it's a nice variant personally. Obviously we have the nice coat and the black hoodie and the grey top, obviously he had a design on his grey top in the episode going off the images, but at the same time this nice muted colour really actually works for this figure, I think it's a nice, it's a nice shape up personally. Um, Obviously his hair is a bit uh, darker than it actually is in the show, but that's never been a problem for me personally. I really like this look for Capaldi. It gives him this more, I think it gives him a bit of an edge to it. And if we bring in another Capaldi figure from Series 9, as you can tell, like these trousers are more of a, a gold and navy blue sort of thing. His boots are more shiny on this one, but also I like the matted black one. The deep attention to detailing is still there on the figure. I like this one, I feel like this is a nice variant of him and also a very good chance for you to pick up a Capaldi figure if you didn't pick up one of these single carded ones like I did. I know I just want to look, oh yeah and then obviously still got the attention to detail. I've always quite liked these Capaldi figures, I don't know why they've probably been one of my favourite ones. It's just, if we compare him to a normal, another size normal figure, he is just very very tall but that's just a minor, minor crope to have with this, yeah. So definitely pick this up Look at, if you missed out on one of the Capaldis. But next we'll be looking at Mr. Davros himself. Um, as you can tell, this is more of a straight re-release compared to the other one. The other one was more of a, a little retweak and retwork, whereas this one is basically just a straight re-release mainly. Uh, apart from the colouring, if we bring in the Series 4 Davros race, uh, immediately you can tell that this one is more of a shiny metallic, like silver, whereas this one is more of a muted, just standard one. I must say, I really like this silver on this set. It really just makes Davros look more menacing, more like a Dalek, pretty much, which I quite like. You know, the head sculpts. I feel like this one does look more older, whereas this one does, you can see a lot more of the detailing on the face, which is something I like, but at the same time, this one looks a bit more older. 
if we look at the buttons themselves, uh, I feel like this one also, this one also, because of the silver button makes the buttons pop more, whereas this one is a bit more, it's kind of eh, it doesn't really pop as much, it's just a bit of a bland one really. And then yeah, go down to the spheres, obviously very nicely, nicely painted silver, whereas these ones, as like I said, is more of a muted one. And the fender at the bottom is this nice, just straight metallic black, which is very nice indeed. And also, if you can hear screaming, it's because there's a school over the road and it's break time apparently. But yeah, really do like this. It's a nice, it's a nice re-release. I must say, the repaint has been very nice. As you can tell, it was nice to see silver all the way around, which is very nice. Obviously. If they had the budget to this year, I would have preferred it if they did the head, but with new eyes. But of course, that's all new tooling and stuff like that. Just very happy to that we've had that we've had uh, a new fit. We've had two new figures at the end, like two new sets at the end of the whole year, which is very nice. Along with all the other sets we've had in total, we've had six, ten, sixteen. In total, we've had like eighteen sets. No, oh, no, nineteen, including the Mechanist Daleks, which is very nice. And we've just been very sport this year. So yeah, this is what it would have looked like to begin with, and now you've got your nice mega sets right here. Very nice indeed. Just like I did in my last video, here are both sets side by side. Two very nice sets to have at the end of the year. Also, one minor thing, I wish they released him with a sonic screwdriver. That's it. That's all I would say about this set. Just give Capaldi a sonic screwdriver. If you give Ace the rocket launcher, give him a sonic screwdriver. That's it. Apart from that, lovely two sets, lovely two sets. I hope you've enjoyed this video. I know it's not a very long one, but still wanted to do another one to show you my opinions on these two new sets. Hopefully you can get them. Well, we can seem to get them down more south now, so well, hopefully you can get these sets because now you can get well, we can get them down south now, which is unlike the other wave, which is nice. So hopefully you can get them in your local BM. Yeah, so cheers for watching. Uh, happy hunting. Um, gonna try and put a video out, a video out every week, every or put two videos out every week, I don't know. Try and just do more on this con on this channel. Um, cheers for the free people that subscribe, because why not? I hope you enjoy. Yeah. Happy hunting, and yeah, peace. Have a good day.